I now give the floor to Her Excellency Retno Listari Priyansari Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, Excellencies, today the world faces significant challenges, geopolitical rivalries, gloomy economic recovery, as well as climate and energy crisis. We cannot only address this issue through paradigm of collaboration. Sadly, we are seeing the opposite. Trust in multilateralism is fading and its effectiveness continues to be questioned. Fortunately, this summit offers an opportunity to restore trust and global solidarity and to chart a new course for the future. Indeed, the choices that we make in this hall will resonate for generations to come. For Indonesia, there are three strategic objectives that must be achieved. First, creating a lasting peace. Colleagues, peace is not merely the absence of war, but the presence of justice, stability, and development. That peace can only thrive if we consistently uphold international law without double standard. In this context, the ongoing genocide by Israel must be stopped immediately. Enough is enough. Palestine's right to a statehood must be fulfilled based on the two-state solution. Second, safeguarding right to development. Colleague, there are no other option to achieve 2030 agenda than to accelerate our collective efforts. The Global South has a right to be free from trade discrimination and debt traps. Gaps must be bridged so that no country will be left behind. Third, promoting an inclusive world order. We need a more adaptive, responsive, and effective global governance, including by reforming the UN Security Council and international financial in in architecture. We cannot afford to wait any longer. We must push for a true and real reform, a reform that listens to the voices of developing countries and address their concerns. Mr. President, let us seize the momentum of this summit to build a future that we can all be proud of, a future that is just, equitable, and sustainable for all humankind. To attain that, the pact of the future must not become a set of empty promise, promises without tangible result on the ground. I thank you very much. I thank the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia.